What is up guys, Justice here. I am back with another video and today we're gonna talk about the overhead press. How to have one of the most impressive overhead presses on your college campus and when you, really when you think about a most impressive movement, right? Pure strength, what is the most impressive thing to see in the gym? You may think it's a, be a big bench press or a big deadlift or a big squat, but honestly, the most impressive thing and, the, and really the true measure of strength is the overhead press. And so if you can get an impressive overhead press, a big number, your body weight or more, then you truly, you truly are strong. So we're gonna talk about some of the tips that you can apply to make this as efficient as possible and also to avoid some of the mistakes I'm seeing amongst a lot of college lifters on campus. We're gonna start with the hands, right? This is one that not a lot of people think about, but with any pressing motion, but especially with the overhead press, you want the bar to be as close to over your wrist as possible, right? This is why a lot of people will do a false grip. And you can do it if you want. Uh, it's not as risky on an overhead press because if it falls, it falls on the floor, not on your neck like with a bench press. But the, the idea is that you want to get that bar over the base of your palm. So you don't want it all the way in the back of your hand. And you'll see that a lot, that people rest it all the way in the back of their hand as a pose to the base of their palm. The next thing you want to think about is the position of the upper arm. So with the upper arm, you don't want to be all the way out here like you might with the dumbbell press, right? You need to tuck the arms. If you look at Olympic weightlifters who are pros at putting weight over their head, they never press out here. They're always in here. So that requires a little bit of flexibility in your upper back and even in your shulders, but you want your wrist to be in front of your body. And the next thing that you wanna make sure that you're having happen is, is that your wrist is also over your elbow, right? So you don't want it to be too far back. You definitely don't want it to be forward here. A lot of people will try to press even with dumbbells here. You want it to be stacked. So wrist over elbows from the front and from the side. You want them as vertical as possible because you're pressing vertically, right? And then you don't want them to be too far in and too far wide. So that's gonna help you find what your grip width should be. So walk up to the bar, grab it to where you feel your wrist will be over your elbows, and that's a good starting position. Next thing you wanna make sure is that you're keeping the bar extremely close to your lower neck slash clavicle. We're trying to keep it close to the midline of the body as possible. Our goal is to press it in a straight line. You can't really do that because your head is in the way, but you can do your very best. So you wanna move your head back, press up, and then drive your neck and head forward so that the bar ends completely overhead and over the center of your body. Now, another big tip that's gonna help you is what's happening with your upper body, right? Because you're pressing off of everything underneath you. So make sure that you're bringing your lower ribs down slightly, squeezing your glutes and keeping your core very tight, taking in a breath as if you were squatting or deadlifting, bracing and keeping it like that. You still wanna have that extension in your upper back. So you don't wanna be curving your lower back in order to get the bar up here and your head out the way just your upper back. Once again, think about bracing and keeping your lower ribs down. This is gonna make a huge difference. And then as you press up, drive through those palms, almost think about driving your feet through the floor instead of pressing the bar up. And this is gonna help you really take into account all of your body in this movement as opposed to just thinking of it as a shoulder press because it's so much more than that, especially when the weight's heavy. So those are my main tips for the overhead press. Start applying these and it should start getting a lot easier no arms all the way out here, no short stroking either, right? Make sure that you're get coming all the way down and pressing all the way up, fully up, reaching for the ceiling each time. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please hit that like button, share it with a friend, comment below, and make sure you check out my social media linked in the description. I'm constantly putting things out for college students and you don't wanna miss it. So, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.